those who haven't seen it yet, Orphans is about two uh, brothers <clears throat> excuse me, played by Ben and Tom, um, who are living in Philadelphia. Uh, ben plays Treat, who's sort of a, a pretty sort of menacing kind of petty thief, and uh, Tom plays his younger brother, Philip, who's been basically sort of a shut-in in this home. And when the play starts in the second scene, it turns out that Treat has uh, essentially sort of kidnapped, lured and sort of kidnapped a... Um, a man who we don't really know who he is, and he's the character played by Alec. He turns out to be a man named Harold, who has, for a lot of reasons, kind of reasons to want to be uh, to be staying in this house, to be sort of hiding, hiding out. And um, Alec, this is—I mean—it's very much a three-man ensemble play. What's what's needed for for an ensemble play to work on stage? You know, it always works best when you have people who can hit the ball back, you know? And I came into this, um, I, I don't get to do this very often. And it's a shame, I just don't get to do plays as much as I'd like to. So when I do this, I really want to make it count, and I'm very fragile about who I do it with. Yeah. You know, it's kind of weird. You know, I always make a joke, I say acting is like sex. When I was younger, I would do it with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I'm older, I'm very, I'm a little more particular about who I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had both of them tested before right. we did the. Uh, so, uh, but but the the um, um, I really uh, uh, when all this came together the way it did, it, it, it I was I was excited and we go out there every night, and uh, he's different in some section of the show. Something happens, he says something, and I and and and, and what's wonderful because you think you'd want to have this kind of reliability where everybody's the same and you, and you kind of depend on that. Not at all. And he's different every night and, and it keeps you on your toes. It's very, very organic and very real every night. Especially this piece, because this piece uh, it lends itself to where you can, you, can, you can play the scenes and moments inside the scenes as dark or as comedic as you, as you like. Not, not all of them, but many of them. Well, what about that, guys? I mean, to, to the degree to which we talked a little bit, I don't want to make any false comparisons between film and theater, but is there, I don't know, is there any sort of a different kind of vitality that you get from theater work than you've gotten, honestly, from, from film? Uh, vitality's my word. I don't know if there's a, a difference. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about it a bit recently because it is a question that you get asked. Like, and I, I couldn't really find an answer. And then, for me, personally, I think a, a lot of it has to do with in theatre, you're left with more time uninterrupted to be the character. No matter how method you are as an actor on a film set, you can't suspend the disbelief. There is a machine in front of you, yeah. like, recording you. There is a guy, you know, offering you coffee. Like, even if you're, you know, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's like, you're not. Um, <laughs> like, but whereas in a play, you know, and then when you are a butcher, it's for two minutes and 18 seconds. Yeah. And we're in a play, we're left alone for two hours being butchers. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and that is, I, I mean, that's, for me, that is a big difference. Yeah. And it does, cause it, cause it, because after two minutes and 18 seconds, you kind of, you, well, at least I do, I do forget and I start to kind of be in the world. Mm -hmm. And that, that's interesting. Yeah. The cost is higher. You, at this point, we'd be uh, we'd be done with the film. I'd be going home. I'd right. be taking a vacation. I'd be going. Uh, I'd be looking for my next job right now. Show hasn't opened yet. Right. Mm. That costs like emotional as well as physical. Or I'm laid after? out after this one. I'm laid out flat. Yeah. Uh, and after two shows a day, and uh, it's it's a different kind of endurance. At the same time, it, the the the. The good days are when I'm laid out flat. The bad days are when I'm up, after a show. So uh, the cost is higher, the reward is different. And um, I'm so grateful for this experience just as a man. It's not even as an artist or as an actor, it's just as a man, because it demands something that I've never had the, uh, uh, I believe, the internal structure to handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to work among these men and Dan Sullivan and, and uh, 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 Bob Cole and Fred Zolo and Lyle Kessler. These are these are these are these are beasts. What, is, what have been the biggest differences for you in terms of working in theater in London, which you've done plenty of, and working in New York? What is what are some of the things that have stood out to you? I mean, I, 
I think, you know, we approach it in a similar way. The, th the, th the biggest difference for me was the audition, actually. Oh. It was like, in England, like you sort of, the director in England kind of tricks you into thinking you might get the job. Hmm. Like we kind of go in, we procrastinate for a while. You and, and the director. Yeah, you and the director. Like you kind of go and you talk, you know, right. you, you sort of talk about the playwright's family and kind of, you know, <laughs> go back, you know, and then you kind of, he goes like, oh, do you want to read? And you go, yeah, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> you, you pretend that it's yeah. not what it's about. Yeah, literally, right? yeah. And sort you of, want to you know, read the part I, of the play? It's like, <laughs> it's like, That's it's funny. A, it's the most gentle, kind of enjoyable experience. You have a glass of wine, like, right. whereas here it is absolutely terrifying. I, I remember walking, I walked into, I think it was at the MTC, I, I, I walked in kind of thinking that it was the same thing. And I, 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 I walked in to the, to the um, guy at the desk and said, hi, I'm Tom, I'm here to see Dan. And he was like, yeah, sign your name in there. And I sort of looked and there's this list of hundreds and <laughs> hundreds of names. And so I was like, okay, well, this, is, this must be like the people who walk in the building list. Right. And I, and I, sort of, I wrote my name down and I, wa I walked in and literally there were a hundred guys like <laughs> on seats and like American actors, like, I think they approach things like, I mean, obviously, I don't know, what guys. No, but, let it rip. <laughs> like, they're all, they were all listening to their iPods and like really angry and kind of like saying the lines and kind of shouting them. Like, I was just, it was like the most intimidating <laughs> thing. And literally like, it all, it all looked like they were going into like sort of wrestle with the director. <laughs> <laughs> and, I just, right. and I just remembered sort of literally sitting in my seat and, like, with all these guys around me just waiting. <laughs> And then the, the door, like I could hear the, the other auditions through the door. Ah! And, like, and it's it's like everyone just like pouring it out. And I just, and I just don't, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing at, at that stage. Do you remember anything about what that, uh, what, what it was like, the, what your reading was like? If you felt like you'd done it well, if you were so like, you know, thrown I, off. To be honest, I, yeah. I don't. I just, I remember wanting to get out of there as right. quickly as possible. Right. This jumped out at me from, uh, from you from growing up because my brother went on to play professional football, but did you, when you, you played football in high school, yeah. did you ever have to choose between playing football and like doing a, a play, like the fall play? I did, how did you know that? that? What? <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing. What was it? Well, I, was, which, I, was, I did choose? a play in the drama club and they did like Mr. Roberts. Classic <laughs> high school ensemble. <laughs> yeah, they did, they <laughs> did. Ensemble. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be cliche about it, but the drama teacher, who I will remain nameless, he was this man <laughs> who came up to me and he said, why don't you get some of those football players to come here and play sailors in our production? <laughs> Mr. Roberts. <laughs> we could get some of your friends from the team to come. <laughs> and I said, no, Mr. So-and-so. I said, I don't know. And I remember I went to football <laughs> practice. I'm like, so uh, any of you guys want to be in the drama club? You know, Mr. Roberts? There's some sailors on the boat. And they looked at me like they, I was crazy. So there was that weird chasm between <laughs> drama club and uh, right. football team. I remember yeah. my Catholic yeah. high school. What, uh, did you end up doing Mr. Roberts? Did you? Yes. Uh, yeah? Yeah, we did a school. We did yeah. uh, Monkey's Paw, right. Mr. Roberts. We did all these. They did things that were. What is uh, Mr. Roberts? What is Mr. Roberts? He's from England. <laughs> <laughs> what is Mr. Roberts? Yeah. It's the Hamlet of the American theater. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a drama uh, that was made into a famous film with Henry Fonda. It's a, it's a wonderful play. <laughs> I'm doing a production of it next year and you're not going to right. <laughs> And Tom is about the same age as you were when you were in, in Loot. Do you see any of the kind of the old you in Tom? Well, no, because Tom is, um, uh, <clears throat> well, Tom um, has done a good bit of theater and comes. I've done three plays. I mean, I... Well, but you come from a family and you come from a, I'm speaking, Tom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I come, from, but I come from. He comes from a theatrical family. He comes from the UK, where, as I always say, the further east you go, the more respect they have for the theater. From LA on to New York, on to London, and um, and uh, the, um, uh, you know, I remember one time. Uh, I mean, literally, I think like some executive at a film company when I did Streetcar, mm. and abandoned some other work I might have done to do Streetcar. This guy was like. 
uh, what do you want to go do that play for? You're going to go do play on Broadway? What do you want to go do that play for? Mm. He was like, because they already, they, they're not a movie deal in it for you. They already made the movie with the, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? What's yeah, the guy's Brando, name? Brando. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. They already made it with him. The fat guy. They already made it with him. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I remember this, you know, just, it was like a really horrifying um, how that in my life, mm. I, I always had to, um, you know, say to myself that the theater was a different animal and a different world and a different set of values and so forth. And, uh, and I don't want to get into that whole thing about, you know, like dissing the movies. I did a TV show for seven years recently, which was a great experience. But I always find that I come back to this because <clears throat> it's, uh, it's more gratifying. It really is more gratifying. Mm -hmm.